Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a super exciting video. In DJI 04's previous releases, right, the OG Air Unit, we got the O3, all these types of things, we are yet to see something that will work with our micros, right? We have to wait for the manufacturers of other companies to break them down and make them naked, like the naked O3 Air Unit, and then we can try to put it in a micro. So I am super excited because in today's video, we are going to be playing with the DJI 04 Air Unit Lite. That's not its real name, but that's what everybody's calling it. And I want to put it into my favorite micro. And I want to show you how I'm doing that in case you want to put one of these in your favorite micro. One of my old school classic favorites was the Emax Tiny Hawk freestyles. These were so cool and they had the one and the two and now the three, which is not a new drone, but they're just so much fun and the way they're built, they're literally designed, built and shaped like a full size drone. So when you get them in the air, the way they handle and fly, is just like a full five inch. So how much fun is that? Now for you, you pull your favorite drone and you make it work in your favorite. I'm gonna show you how I do it in mine and then you do it in yours. Now there are some barriers we're gonna have to get across. For starters, the DJI 04 light air unit is only 3.7 to 13.2 volts. So if your quadcopter is a one cell, you will not be able to run it without putting in some sort of buck boost converter so that way you can control the voltage and make sure that your air unit doesn't turn off as your battery begins to die. If you are higher than that, you can use that same Beck or same buck boost converter and get that voltage down so that way you don't harm your DJI 04 air unit. So just keep in mind the voltage range you want to be in. Let's go ahead and crack this puppy open and see what our DJI 04 air unit light even looks like. Whoo! So we got a baggie, we've got some instructions and some other crap that I don't need or want. So inside the baggie, what do we have? Woo but look at how tiny this is. This thing is so small, so compact, so thin, and you've got bare electronics showing. So that lets you know that they've stripped everything off of this to make it as light and sweet as possible. All right, so on our VTX, we have ourselves a dipole antenna. We've got ourselves our micro itty bitty camera. And of course, DJI, you know how they roll. They had to make this complicated. They couldn't make it just a standard basic micro camera. So it, it's just not one of those. I'm going to clip this on to keep everything safe. And you don't have to. You can squeeze this into whatever your setup may be. And that's pretty cool. If you have a whoop, this is going to work better for you than this big old Mac Daddy. I am running this micro, and look how easy this is. Ooh, that just fit like a glove. So there you go. So that is now on and ready to be mounted. And again, I have no idea how I'm going to make this work, and that's going to be a barrier you're going to face on yours as well, unless you do the same one as me, and once I figure it out, then we can do it together. This drone and your drone is, unless you're purchasing a plug plug and play built for DJI 04 Lite, it's not going to plug and play. You're going to need to get creative. You're going to need to snip wires. You're going to need to find the right pads and you're going to need to solder it up. And I'm going to show you those basics. Okay. So I'm going to open up this battery strap and we're going to go ahead and pull off this top plate. Okay, so three screws and she's off. Very nice. I have not been inside of one of these in a very long time. All right, pilot. So now that we have the top off, we need to go ahead and figure out how we're going to mount this thing. And what we're going to need to do is mount it in this fashion, the way that this VTX is already mounted. Keep in mind, this is 25 0.5 by 25.5 mounting. And that is the standard micro whoop mounting. So that's why they did this and it works. As you can see, it's going to line up and fit perfectly. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use a nut driver and we're going to take off these nylon nuts. Okay. So now we're free and loose. I need to get this camera out. And the camera is actually held in by Phillips screws. I don't know yet what we're going to do, but we will 
figure it out, mate. My motor wires and my USB are all mounted to this above board. That's letting me know that this is my AIO. What that means is that this is my flight controller and my ESC, and it has built-in ELRS right into the flight controller. So, if you are an ELRS guy, or maybe your board is an FR Sky, or whatever it may be, if you plan on running your brand new DJI 04 compatible goggles, whether they're the N3 or the G3 or the Goggles 2 or the Integras, whatever's compatible that works with that, if you're running that, but you're using a separate radio, ELRS co compatible, TBS, Crossfire, you know, whatever you're using, you can use your board if it has it built in. This is an SBI receiver already built in. But for me personally, I am going to run the DJI Remote Controller 3, <laughs> which as you know, and as I've shown, it binds directly to the goggles. So when I bind the goggles to this bad boy here, which by the way, if you are unsure on how to bind or, or, or activate or any of that, I have a full setup video on the DJI 04 Pro and it is identical. I will link that video video down in the video description and walk you through setting that up. Okay, so with that being said, I am not going to use the onboard ELRS. Even though it's there, I don't want to use it. I want to use the 04 technology, so that's that's going to be me. But here you go. You can see we've got our battery connector, and this is a dual setup. So that means we're going to need two 1S batteries, something like this. I have these Nitro Nectars. Okay, so let's break the antenna out, and that is connected by UFL. So I'm gonna get in there with something that's not gonna cause damage, and I'm gonna pop that off. So there is our antenna that comes with this quadcopter. Okay, so really quick on the antennas, the DJI Goggles 3 uses two linear antennas, and that is how it communicates to the quadcopter, or to the air unit. This one here, the DJI 04 Lite, uses a dipole antenna, so no issue there. But if I want to use this antenna that came with this quadcopter, I can, and it may or may not do better, but it is circular polarized, and this is actually right-hand circular polarized, and you need to be sure that you're matching right-hand to right-hand and left-hand to left-hand. The reason why this doesn't matter is because my DJI uh, uh, Goggles 3 are linear. Linear can align either way. You do have a little bit of loss, but you don't have to worry about left hand versus right hand. So possibly that's why they did that. I, I don't know. But I'm going to try running the original DJI antenna and see what happens. If All right. So with that disconnected, the next thing we need to do is remove this VTX in all of its entirety. All right. So with our soldering iron on and hot, I'm going to desolder from the all-in-one. So my ground... So there you go, five volt and a ground. And then back over here, we're gonna have our T2, which is right here. We gotta be careful because our motor wires are here. And then last but not least is gonna be our R2, also very tight and very hidden up in here. Everybody's may be different, but the beauty is, is you're gonna follow the same steps that I am. And that's why I'm walking you through this. So that way you can put yours together as well. So what we need now is we need to remove these standoffs here. Okay, so now our VTX should just pop right out of there. All right, come on. There she is. Wow, look at that. That is a beautiful board. And now we're going to try to get this bad boy in there. So what we need to keep in mind is a lot of times and all the time, they recommend a soft mount. I'm personally not going to soft mount because I need the space, but... I'm curious to see what happens. It may or may not affect me. I'm going to pop these out of my way because we're going to have to figure out what to do with them anyways. I don't even know if this camera is going to fit. I'm thinking this way gets me access to USB, gets me close for my camera and close for my antenna. So let's go ahead and try to shimmy it up in there. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Everything on here is very important. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, <laughs> guess who just been mounted, guess who just did mounting. Okay, pilot, so our VTX is in. 
Look at that. So what I want to do is drop down my flight controller. All right, pilots, so let's get started. Our very first wire to solder is going to be the red power wire. And we've got a beautiful five volt pad right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump across and I'll leave a little bit of extra play and I'll snip that. And then we're gonna need a ground. And actually, I see a ground right next to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one to be the exact same length as that one. So now that I put that on, I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna put fresh solder on. Boom. Now we're gonna grab our tweezers. Let's go ground first. And I'm gonna go ground to ground. And then I'm gonna go five volt power to my power and there you go we've got our power connected the next thing we need to solder up is our MSP and that is going to be the communication to the unit itself from the flight controller and that's going to be these two wires the white and the gray so looking here I've got an R2 and a T2 so I'm going to bring this white wire down for T2 so there we go, and oh, look at that. So now we're gonna take our gray wire, which is actually our TX wire, but it's gotta go to RX. There we go. So now our RX and our TX are soldered. So now we're left with two wires, our S bus and a ground. If you are running the onboard ELRS or you're running a separate receiver like an ELRS or a Crossfire, Ghost, whatever, whatever works for you, do not connect these two wires. But if you're me and you plan on running this beautiful, magnificent butterfly, then you're going to need these two wires. And what we're going to do is we're going to snip them right there. Something I didn't previously look at is where are they going to be soldered. So let's take a look. Well, oh, look right here. S bus. Oh, we need a ground. Uh oh. Oh, we got an extra ground right here. We're going to whip that around and go brown to ground. We're going to take our yellow, do the same thing. Boom! Now we are completely soldered up. We are ready for the next step, and that is going to be mounting our camera. All right, so let's see if my zip tie is small enough to fit in here. Oh, it is. What do you know? And this is also doing two things. It's keeping this from getting crossed up this way, and it's keeping our antenna from popping out of that little 3D printed uh, mount that it has. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the normal TPU 3D printed standoffs that were uh, downward facing like this, and I'm gonna flip them over, and I'm gonna come up and above like this, and I'm gonna run the other one in the opposite direction like this. So they're technically upside down now. And I'm gonna hope and pray that this will actually fit through. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> because if I run the camera like this, uh, it's gonna hit my top plate. So if I lay it back far enough so it doesn't hit the top plate, I'm gonna be looking at the sky and this thing's gonna be flying like crazy. We, we, can't, we can't fly like that. I mean, that's just insane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it down because I got very, very fortunate. And then I'm just gonna use my driver and a screw and I'll just drive right through the side of this TPU. Oh, and then I'll grab the top of that. Look at that, boom. And now I need to do it on this side as well. So there you go. So I've got my camera mounted. It's right on the front. Look at that. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is put on my top plate and make sure everything comes together. <laughs> and what we wanna do after this is we have to go ahead and um, jump into the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate. And then after we activate, we're going to go ahead and flash the latest firmware. Easy, easy stuff. Then I'm going to bind it to my goggles. That will automatically bind it to my to my radio. Then I'm going to jump in beta flight, set up my switches, make sure my OSD is good, 
very important check my MSP and my serial RX because I didn't wire where this previously was. Well, I did on MSP, but I didn't on receiver because it has a built-in receiver. So now I need to go to serial RX receiver and then go to S bus because that's what we rolled. So you'll find that in the receivers tab, easy, easy stuff. And you'll be able to use the video that I have provided down in the video description to help you with that if that's something you need. But I'm not going to spend the time now going over it again because I am excited to get in the air. Pilots, look at that. That is incredible. And I'm gonna do DVR. And maybe I'll do the air units recording. I don't know. I got onboard recording, so I'll decide. But there you go, powered up and amazing. Look at that. Oh, we're beeping. <laughs> it means everything is working. Everything is working. All right, pilots, I am so, so stoked. This came together so nicely and it looks so cool. And yet I'm just, what makes me so happy is because I used to fly this analog. Then they came out with two and then we fly HD zero and now the three and I'm just, now it's DJI 04 and I'm just gonna have so much fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it to the sky get you guys some footage. I hope that you guys will do your own micro drone using the DJI 04 Lite. Hopefully you can follow along and do it the same way that I did. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did and I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Hop off the post now I'm in it. Say my goodbyes, I'll be gone till I'm finished. We could do a mile in a minute, mile in a minute. Watch me do a mile in a minute, mile in a minute. And I been on this long road, still riding through all of these potholes. Won't phase me. All oh, this gon' make me. I'm not here for long. I'll be on the go. Figured I'd just put it in a song while I'm on the road. Back at school, see I was never smart, never on the road. I stayed in my lane and played my part. Now I'm ready for it. I'll still play with no loss Look at all we been through Now I gotta see it through mm. Hop off the porch, now I'm in it Say my goodbyes, I'll be gone till I'm finished I could do a mile in a minute Watch me do a mile in a minute And I been on this long road Still riding through all of these potholes Got everything I wanted like I stole some Really, I just need my family and a cold one Toast up to the cold nights and the broke ones Ooh.